Warning, do not attempt anything you are about to see in this video. These animals are dangerous and deserve your respect. Today, we are heading to the mountains of northeastern Pennsylvania, to the small town of Knoxon. We are just a short but somewhat awkward ATV ride away from pristine habitat. I'm glad we have these handles here. Here at higher elevation, thick vegetation and large boulders make for great cover for reptiles and amphibians, but makes for treacherous terrain for their admirers. Join me and my guide, Alan, for an adventure that brings us face to face with a heavily bodied pit viper that despite its shy nature, dons the name Hordus, the timber rattlesnake. These are effectively snake proof. Yeah, that's what they are. Effectively. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna test it or anything, yeah, but I... So I've seen other people, obviously when we were going up with things like this. Yeah, this is actually a oil container. This is Alan. He basically made this whole trip possible. You know, uh, from, company, from a restaurant vegetable oil. So it's a commercial bucket to take it and clean it out. That's a frame from a leaf blower. So you made this? Yeah. Everybody does. That's oh, that's pretty cool though. Yeah. Do you hunt the same den every year or do you have a few? I don't even have den. I don't even know where a den is. I've never found one. So how do you... We're looking for lone males, basically. Okay. So they're just cruising around looking for females? That's it. Alright, so we are going up and I'm glad we have these handles here. So uh, it's not two grown men on a quad holding on to each other. What we are doing is going around this brush line and just moving the brush around hoping to find males looking for females just kind of out in the open and going across these rocks. We're not really lifting logs or lifting rocks or anything. We're just kind of looking around and hoping that we find a male. So as far as the rules go in Knox and Rattlesnake Roundup, you are looking for one male and it needs to be over 42 inches, which is a pretty large male. So hopefully we can find one so they can weigh it and measure it. Look at how thick this brush is here. Snakes could be anywhere in here. Here's a little garter. We've seen probably three of these as we've been walking looking for rattlesnakes and we finally caught one. It's hard to get a hold of them. They're kind of uh, running around everywhere. Once you see their tail, they're pretty much gone. But I got this guy from out under a log. Nice little snake. Rattle. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. You made it seem easy as far as, uh, we haven't been here that long. <laughs> No, it's luck. It really is. I'll bring him in the shade. Not to stress him. Get him to go in. Okay. 21 or more to be a man. Right past the handle. Female. Yeah. That's <laughs> probably just under probably, 42. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd say 
not in a hurry anymore, huh? There it goes, man. Thank you for, oh, for no bringing problem. me out. No it's hard to explain just how monstrous these things feel if you're at the base of them. Let me try to get a shot of them. That's a tiny yeah. to it right there. So we were just riding the quad down to another spot and we found this. I'm guessing we're guessing this is a girl or It's funny, it looks big to me, but you guys say that the these tail. are small. See the tail? Yeah. See the difference from the one this morning? Don't run away, I want to take pictures. I'll keep running. Here it is. The quintessential defense posture of the timber rattlesnake. This is not just a beautiful animal, it is a representation of the American spirit. Ben Franklin once said, she never begins an attack, nor when once engaged, ever surrenders. She is therefore an emblem of magnanimity and true courage. Man, magnanimity, that's a hard word. So here we are, we are at the Knox and Rattlesnake Roundup, and you may be asking yourself, why would you support a roundup? Well, this is actually a no-kill event and it is put on by a volunteer fire department therefore this is a big fundraiser for them as well as the fact that you can only take one male of 42 inches so unlike say Sweetwater that we went to in I believe it was 2017 where they could take any snake however many snakes and they kill them all this is actually you can only take one male and it has to be over 42 inches and it has to have over 21 subcaudal scales therefore making it a definite male so that we don't have any confusion and get females out here and overall this has been a very very cool it's not a giant event Sweetwater has to be at least like eight or ten times bigger almost but it is an awesome fundraiser and no snakes are killed therefore as much as I don't want any snakes to be disturbed from the wild this is a great option to the kill events like Sweetwater so in my opinion, we need to support events like this that are no kill in order to start changing a lot of those roundups in say Oklahoma and Texas that are kill roundups. So we wanna say, hey, this Knox and Roundup is doing good and it's not hurting the population of rattlesnakes. And I proved that this morning as the fact that there were rattlesnakes coming out everywhere as far as when we went herping. And to be honest, look, we were herping right up there. All we were doing is we were finding rattlesnakes on the top of that mountain. So it's not very far. It's hunted every single year and males are placed back every single year. So the population seems to be thriving. So the guy who was in the pit doing education, I believe his name is Bill. And I could tell you that just from the stuff that he's saying, he is actually legit as far as he's not spewing misinformation. He's not perpetuating fear of the animal. They even took a black rat snake around for people to touch. They've been holding the uh, timber rattlesnakes and everything. So overall, this has been a really, really cool event to check out. And at the event, they even gave me this little booklet about Pennsylvania snakes. And there's also a grad student from East Stroudsburg University who is swabbing each snake for fungal disease. So fungal disease is a disease that we're seeing predominantly in timber rattlesnakes. And I know that it's happening in Massachusetts and I believe even New York. I'm not sure if it's been documented in Pennsylvania yet, but they are swabbing each and every one to make sure that they are healthy and to get good numbers on how the population is doing it. And that grad student is also taking the weights and the lengths of each snake, which they're doing for the contest anyway. So it's cool that we're seeing conservation work together with an event like this that's also working together with a community that is you know raising money for their local volunteer fire department so we need to support events like this and stop or reform events like Sweetwater so 
Please, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. This car is really, really hot. You can't tell how much I'm sweating. I didn't wear sunscreen. Can you tell that? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you made it this far, you are most certainly on the team. Thank all of you guys. I hope you enjoyed it.